What is good, YouTube? This is another sneaker review, but let's take a moment to to appreciate the surroundings and the beautiful day it is today. I am walking the dog around. There he is. And without any further ado, let's go. Welcome back to another sneaker review. Yes, this is a Jordan review and my Jordan brand drought is finally over. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me why I don't do as much Jordan brand sneaker reviews anymore. And to be perfectly honest with you guys, I'm in a point in my life right now where I want to be really smart about the things that I do buy. And if I'm getting mediocre quality for a top dollar sneaker, I will most definitely pass 100% of the time. However, Jordan Brand being the brand that they are, realized that they were putting out mediocre, horrible, sometimes quality sneakers to the public and admitted themselves so they came out with the remastered series. And here is your box description, size 8, Air Jordan 4 Retro LS. And if you guys are wondering what LS stands for, it stands for lifestyle, meaning that these sneakers will come with matching apparel, shorts, clothes, t-shirts, or whatever. And it also means that the shoe is made for more of a lifestyle, casual wear rather than athletics. A lot of you guys are complaining about the price hike of the 190 retail and everyone in the Philippines is just laughing because we have the retail price of 11,000 pesos. Let's do some simple math right now. 11,000 pesos, divide that by 44, you get about $250. Retail for these sneakers is 250 while you guys' retail is $190. 250 for a remastered pair of sneakers. Why not? Let's try it. Let's see how this goes. Open up the box and yes, you get that majestic, that very nice Jordan plush leather smell. Before I give an overall review on these sneakers, I want to give you guys my 100% honest opinion on these sneakers. Jordan brand tagging these as the remasters is a very bold statement and to be perfectly honest with you, they are absolutely 100% correct. These joints are bananas in terms of quality. This is the quality that I've been bugging, I've been whining and crying about with Jordan, the tumble leather used around the whole entire sneaker. like. Just small details like this flap thing, this lace flap, I don't even know what you call these. They even dubbed that in all leather. The pull tab in the back that is supposed to be rubber or that plasticky material that we are used to getting. That thing is whole leather. Even the whole tongue, usually we get a patchwork from Jordan 4, but not this time. That thing is whole leather. Usually you get a netting on the side of the sneaker, but these are perforated as well as on the tongue. These are not netted, these are 100% tumble leather. That thing is whole leather. And another thing I noticed is the paint job on the midsole. The big question is, are these still gonna crack? Are the remastered Jordans not gonna crack anymore? That's the big question. But from the look of the painting done, these look real smooth. I'm pressing real deep and hard on these and these look pretty durable. But again, only time will tell if these bad boys will crack or not. Now enough of that jibber jabbering, let us get into these sneakers. The whole upper is of that very, very buttery, creamy, tumbled leather, very much like the OG88 Jordan 3 White Cement. Your painted midsole has that shining, shimmering, splendid, effect on it with a little bit of glittering. Here is a closer look on your toe box. Here you can see the tumbleness, the butterness of the sneaker. Here you can see the perforations on the tongue instead of the netting that you usually get from the Jordan 4s. You get that full tumble leather as well still on the tongue of the sneaker. On the heel of the sneaker you get a translucent Jumpman stitched in and one of my favorite parts of the sneaker is that they did not give you the noodle flat laces that they usually do with the Jordan 4s. They give you more of the Jordan 5 laces, the 
fat round ones, which is real dope as well. And finally, you have your clear air bubble unit in that off white. Another thing I forgot to mention is the Tama. It is a lot thinner and softer, might I add, than the previous Jordan 4s. I don't know if that's part of the remastered series, but the tongue is a lot thinner. I can't wait to put these on, so let me hit you guys with that on feed. There you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the on feed portion of this video. And if you guys are wondering, these sneakers are 100% true to size. This is definitely a no brainer in my opinion. Let me know how you guys feel about these or just the remastered series in general down in the comments below. We have officially hit over 13,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A great way to start the year and I cannot thank you guys enough. If you guys wanna keep chopping it up with me, you guys can always find me on Instagram and Twitter, both under Ralph McFly Guy. And I thank you guys once again for always watching my content. Until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. The Manila Sunset though.